Welcome to part two of our vintage centerpiece um, tutorial. So we've looked in the first part on making our little vintage roses out of paper and old books. Now we're going to look at assembling a vintage centerpiece. Now the nice thing about a vintage centerpiece is that there's so many things that you can make use of and it doesn't have to necessarily be the most expensive centerpiece. Um, it's just really looking through your house, asking friends, family, maybe asking your grandmother, your mother for old th items and then assembling different types of centerpieces. And remember, if you're doing this for an event, each table can look different. The main important thing is just to always make sure that you can go a little bit more rusty or um, a little bit more like a farm vibe to not mix those up. So just stick to one feel throughout and then each centerpiece can look different. So this is just an example of a few of the items that you can use. Now our tutorial is focusing on not using your commercially bought flowers. So what type of things can you maybe pick out of your garden or your neighbor's garden? So we've got anything from rosemary, which is so easy to grow. Um, so you can use rosemary. You can use your desert roses, which always looks amazing in the centerpieces. And perhaps just some lavender. You can use a, a smaller sample of one of your desert roses. So you can play around with things like this and you don't have to go and buy roses or um, big bunches of flowers and you also use very little. Okay, so as an example, we've got a little old rusted container here. You could just add a little desert rose in there and combine it with something else. You always want to work with uh, odd number and you want to create a cluster so we're going to look at three items or five items that we cluster together. You also want to make sure that your items that you're clustering together isn't just one level so we for instance aren't going to use the teacup with this and your little pot. We want to create different heights with your cluster so we'd rather use a teacup maybe a taller one and then if you only have something like this you can always use this is just an old spaghetti tins top you could add height by placing items on other items as well so we've got old washed bottles um, that's been lying in the ocean or literally underground and people have buried it up um, we've got normal glass containers you just don't want to use a perfectly shaped vase that you can buy at a shop um, teacups tins you can use big cookie jars as well um, old books so any book that looks worn out and old works very nicely um, your old-fashioned doilies your grandmother should have a few of these they also work very nicely and perhaps some lace and any kind of thing can work and the idea is to pick a few not try and combine all of this together onto one table pick a few and then build a centerpiece so let's look at a few th things we're going to pick so I want to create different heights so I'm going to use this at the bottom um, I'm not going to do the large one so let's just pick a few items and then we can assemble one centerpiece with our paper flower. So obviously on my paper flower I want to have in a bottle um, as it's going to not work in this and I don't, I wanted to add the height. You could also cut it and not have the stem in here and have it only flat in a container um, so the idea is just to really add a few things you can also to bring in some color perhaps just add some rosemary in here it just adds a bit of the green to your centerpiece You 
You can take your books. I usually like to stack them together and take a little bit of your lace and just make a rough bow at the top you can take some of the lavender and just stick it in here and the nice thing with your lavender your rosemary your desert roses none of these flowers need water to look nice for a couple of hours so you can really I mean they'll look nice for the whole day so you don't have to worry about oasis or anything like that so we've got our lavender in here and then let's take our teacup now I'd like it to be lower so that my levels are better so you could turn over your teacup and you could as an example just place your desert rose in there and maybe just on this side for a little bit of color again put your other smaller desert rose and okay so we're just clearing it out just so you can see the final product and there we have a very simple vintage looking centerpiece and it doesn't have to cost that much and most of these items you can find around the house and in your garden and you could make your paper flowers yourself.